I am a huge fan of the pumpkin, but I think the pumpkin is so overlooked after Halloween. So I've decided to get all Pinterest on you guys and we're gonna repurpose and decorate some pumpkins so they're festive throughout the rest of fall. Even though orange could also be kind of festive, but I wanted to paint. <laughs> I already have one coat of paint on the pumpkin and it's not really dry, which I would advise you to wait till it's dry, but patience is not one, something I have. Okay, we're gonna paint a second coat of white paint on the pumpkin. Honestly, we should probably paint more than two coats to make it not as streaky, but you know what, guys? Pick your battles. <laughs> and mine for what is not watching paint dry. You could do any sort of color combination that you like. And that's the last thing I'm gonna say. Let's speed this up. You're probably wondering, should you paint the bottom of your pumpkin? No, no one's gonna see the bottom of your pumpkin. You know what's funny? There actually are white pumpkins. No, God, please, no, no, no! Okay guys, now it's uh, time to watch paint dry. <clears throat> I have a lot of splinters. <laughs> now I'm going to take some metallic gold paint and draw polka dots on this. You could literally do whatever you wanted. But I've decided polka dots and I like the metallic on the white. It looks real nice. It's like kind of like a circle. That's a polka dot. That's a polka dot. That is a polka dot. <laughs> to the top. Now finally for the stem. Make sure you don't need to pick up your pumpkin right now because you're not gonna be able to unless you have magic levitation powers, which why are you using them for your pumpkin? Why aren't you flying around peeping in Nick Jonas's window? I mean, that's what I would do. I can't get like really close to the bottom or else it'll get gold paint on the thing. So I can do the pen. Then to get into the little crevices, I'm gonna be using a paint pen, also metallic gold, hopefully the same shade. <laughs> Apparently it looks awkward that I'm only using one hand, but this hand is no job because this pumpkin is wet. That sounded like a haiku. It wasn't, but it could have been. I feel like I'm violating this pumpkin. Inhale those fumes, people. Breathe in deep. The sound of your brain cells dying. Brain cells die? What do they do? Do they pop? Yay! Namaste. Woo! We have our finished pumpkin. Make sure you let it dry. And then also, behind the scenes, one of our producers, our only producer, I'll be real, this show's not that legit. She made another pumpkin. Lily, bring your pumpkin on down. <laughs> Not it that really bad. It could be a lot Not worse. that bad. Whoo! Oh! Here are the pumpkins. This probably looks really shitty with all the stuff on the table. Look, guys! Pretty, pretty pumpkins! Not that they weren't beautiful before, but hey, we wanted to show them some extra love for the rest of the fall season. Now you can use these as decoration, use some gourds, throw it on in there, put them in like a sparkly thing. Ba bam you are walking, living, breathing Pinterest. It happened. Okay guys, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to Clever Style for more episodes of Beauty Break. Have a happy fall. This is me being leaves. Did you love these DIY ideas? Well, there's more where that came from. Click to the left to see these awesome bathroom storage ideas and 
If you still haven't picked out a costume for Halloween or if you're bored and want to watch me make a fool of myself, click to the right.